water in our part of Pegasame Road has visibly receded in recent days. Passers-by are now unblocking drains clogged with leaves by hand. The market is growing back to normality, which is popular with Muban residents. All sorts of fresh fruit and vegetables are on sale again. Papaya salad makes a healthy and delicious takeaway meal. Dogs are in better spirits, having more drive pavements to choose from. This black dog has been befriended and is eating again. Today the Royal Thai Army appeared with a stockpile of timber and set to work to making a walkway into Mubarn, which is still under waist height water and showing little signs of drying out in the near future. The walkway took shape quite quickly. Within a day, a surprisingly long stretch was built and instantly appreciated. Constructed in sections which follow the line of pavement in the road. Just wide enough to allow people to pass each other. So the wood can stretch for longer down the road. The heavy structure was simply floated to its resting place and nailed tightly together. Those that didn't evacuate have adapted well to travelling in and out of their community to work or get supplies in this short time. As days go by, it looks as if it has always been this way. Boats are now of every size, shape, colour and construction. The Owners are getting used to manoeuvring them alongside lorries. Some trucks such as this Mitsubishi are able to drive through the flood and if you've wondered why there are so many 4x4 trucks in Bangkok instead of small economical city cars then this might be the answer. Any attempt by future government water management authorities to convert Bangkok's motorists to use instead smaller more fuel efficient and environmentally friendly cars would first have to ensure to its residents future flooding would not be an issue. So I imagine 4x4s are here to stay for a good while longer. Despite the difficulties and disruptions at home and at work the flood has brought to our area, most that stayed are happily, rather than reluctantly, taking to boats and rafts. Those I've spoken to share the same feeling of solidarity and friendship between neighbours known and less familiar. For those that intuitively make the best of situations they have no control over, they will certainly, like us, keep some good memories of the past few weeks. About 50 years old, this have same this. I never born, I, I've not born before. <laughs> this time very lucky, you have lived in Thailand. <laughs> you okay? The idea to make a walkway over the water will enable the boats to moor and take passengers more easily, as well as help residents get at least part of the way home on foot. I asked how long the walkway would be eventually, and the answer when the wood runs out. <laughs>